Hello Capricorn, how are you? Welcome to the channel. My name is Donna. Let's look and see what the overall energy is for your love life. This will be a traditional love reading. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus of Capricorn. So let's see what we have for your messages from Spirit. The overall energy for Capricorn. These readings are timeless. They are vice versa. Take it as it resonates. It's a general reading. Take what's yours like a buffet table. Meditation and stillness. Capricorn, are you taking naps? Are you spending time in a hammock? Are you thinking about what you want long term for your life? I love meditation energy. It's powerful. You're manifesting. We have fortune's wheel, luck, and right timing. What did I say? Manifesting. You also have Jupiter, the planet of good luck, in Pisces which is very, very uh, fortuitous for you, Capricorn. One more energy card for our Capricorn friends. Compassion, heart home. Okay, so you're be being called upon to be compassionate. Looks like it brings not only you good luck, but another person that you care about. All right, so let's look and see what the energy are. What are the messages? The highest and best messages for Capricorn in love, please, Spirit. Please tell us the messages that Capricorn needs to know about love at this time. Some actionable, helpful messages that will help Capricorn manifest what makes them happy in love. All right, so let's look, cut the deck here. At the bottom of the deck, the overall energy is, ooh, traditional relationship, Taurus energy. That is a traditional marriage. It's one with traditional beliefs, traditional roles, traditional thought process. It can actually be a marriage. Look at that. Capricorn, you know who you want. There's some difficulties to master. There's been a time of separation, but you feel like you might be coming into alignment with a twin flame. Okay. So, in the recent past between you and your beloved, I'm going to read this like a love reading, but it can be any relationship. So, what we have here is the Page of Wands, throwing caution to the winds is in the recent past is what you and a beloved a love interest are doing. Currently, you are manifesting Taurus energy twice. Capricorn, are you ready to propose to someone? Very interesting. Or someone's ready to propose to you. But there's there may be simply discussion of marriage going on between the two of you. You know, what you want, what you value. Even if you just met, you may be having a discussion like this. So the way your person views the situation right now, they see you as being willing to date other people. They see themselves in a situation where there's competition, where you're keeping your options open, and there's been no commitment at this point in time. It does make them feel a little bit fired up. You know, it's a, a little bit of an ego drive. They want to win. They want to win you. How they view you, Capricorn, they view you as the Queen of Cups energy. Very loving, very tender, very kind. You feed a lot of people. You take care of a lot of people. They see you as very nurturing. In their heart space, the energy that they're holding is a broken heart. Three of Swords, it looks like you love somebody else. We get the Three of Swords here, the Five of Wands there. It looks like they either think that you're in a third-party situation or you are actually in one because their feeling is that they have to compete, that you've chosen someone else. How they view the situation going forward, Eight of Swords. So their actions that they plan on taking are to actually just not do anything. The Eight of Swords says that your person is not going to make a movement towards you. They feel as though it's pointless. They feel as though you have someone else. Let's see what the hidden energy is between the two of you. The Strength card. Both of you really have fire in your belly. Both of you have really mastered your emotions too. Whatever's gone on in this connection, it, it, you know, the Strength card speaks to the fact that you may have known each other in many lives, but it also is taming the beast within. It's Your attraction is not going anywhere. It's kind of almost feels stuck. You feel as though this is an energy that really makes you happy, but it's not something that you have an option to partake in right now. 
So what is spirit recommending? We have the Six of Pentacles, equal give and take, giving to the relationship, Capricorn. What's your short-term outcome? Movement of swords. Movement of swords is an energy that says to me that you have a lot that you need to say to someone. They may have a lot that they need to say to you. So let's go look at, let's look at the clarifiers here and see what's happening in this love relationship, Cap. What is going on? You wouldn't be here if you didn't have an interest in this person. So it's a little bit interesting to me that they feel a, a certain hopelessness. They may tell you that also. I call that, this is a Knight of Swords card and it's Gemini energy. We have Taurus energy, we have Leo, we have Libra, we have um, Gemini energy. Five of Wands is Leo, Taurus, air sign, fire sign energy, and the Queen of Cups. So that's Cancerian energy, Taurus twice. So what I see here is that your person may tell you, if I'm reading this correctly, that they just simply think that they're not going to do anything because you're somewhere else. They don't see you giving to the relationship. They see you trying to manifest or putting them in a competitive situation. So the way I see this, your person wants a serious relationship with you. If you're not feeling sure about them, they're willing to walk the Seven of Wands. They're, they're just going to defend themselves. They're not going to take action towards you. They're going to defend their turf. If you want them, they'll put that wand down is what I'm getting here. Yeah, the Five of Swords, they feel a little bit raw here. Now, energies can be vice versa. Everybody who watches tarot frequently knows that. If you're new to tarot, please understand that a general reading is not a personal reading and that they do not read perfectly. A reading can be very good and very accurate, but like a buffet table, you take what's yours and leave the rest. So what I'm seeing here is this energy that your person really feels rather undone, Five of Swords, negative conflict, heated competition. Three of Swords, a stab in the heart. Eight of Swords, I am walking away, or at least at the very limit. Uh, I am just not going to do anything. I'm not going to pursue this. So throwing caution to the winds in the past was your person giving you their heart. The Two of Cups energy, that is a marriage energy also. I refer to marriage energy as any as a potential marriage, as an actual marriage, but it also is two hearts beat as one, very twin flame, the Naked Heart Tarot deck if you're looking for it. But what we see is two people who are soulmates, no doubt about it, soulmates of the Minor Arcana, that you took, you know, you took the chance on love and it turned into something quite beautiful. Now, you know, one person could literally be married in this situation. And that's what I'm seeing is quite likely or quite possible. Again, marriage energy does not have to be actual marriage. It can be living together. It can be sharing a home together. It can be the energy that is marriage-like. If somebody has had a baby with someone and they're living together like a married couple, that is marriage energy, okay? So what do we have here? Why is the Hierophant card here, though? The Ace of Coins. So there, somebody's waiting for an offer. They are waiting for an offer, Capricorn. They want you to make them an offer is what I'm seeing. The Seven of Coins says that your person's very invested in you. They put themselves out for you. They don't really know that it's going to pay off. Hence, they feel very defensive. Why is the Five of Wands here? The Judgment card. So your person feels as though you've made your choice. They feel as though Capricorn... They don't have any other options other than to let you go, you know. If you've made that judgment call not to choose them, uh, I feel as though they're going to be very pointed with you and walk away. Why do they see you as the Queen of Cups energy? Well, they see you as a person who does not nurture the connection anymore, but that you're nurturing generally. The Movement of Cups says that you bring out this very romantic feeling in them. You make them want to come forward and offer love to you. That when things are going well, they just really, really love you. Aww. Why is the Three of Swords here? 
Innocence of Pentacles. Okay, so we have the Page of Pentacles. We have the Page of Wands. The Three of Swords says that it's very highly likely that in this connection, there could be children uh, that are preventing an actual love affair from coming together. There could be another marriage that needs to be um, ended with judgment. So it really shows me that right now, Capricorn, your person just thinks there's too many obstacles. They love you. But the Eight of Cups, they've walked away or they're walking away at this time. They just, you know, quite honestly, what are they supposed to do? Because this person does not want to live in pain. They just don't. They find it overwhelming. We get the Heart of Pentacles. So the King of Pentacles energy is, is really in this. I'm not going to give any more to this attitude. That's, you know, they find it too painful to give to the situation. So, you know, if you're married and this person has been waiting in the wings for you, they look like they're they're just going to try to do what's good for them. They need to heal Four of Swords energy. Your person's feeling sad, overwhelmed, uh, just a tremendous sense of loss. The Five of Swords, again, Five of Swords here, Five of Swords there. They just feel like it was a colossal waste of time. You know, I hate to use those words with you, but, you know, it really shows that they feel as though you were selfish and or, you know, again, this is, can be vice versa for all the cross watchers. I love you cross watchers. I cross watch too. It's natural. So the five of swords is really, sometimes it can be situational that the situation is unfair and that there's no nothing that you feel you can do about it. But the ten of wands, your person's giving up the burdens, they're going to release it. They're going to release it with love. They absolutely adore you. They want to come forward, but they have the strength to do this. So tell us about the strength card. Yep, Twin Flame. Whoa, that is a powerful energy. That is literally the number 22, 1111. Your person feels as though they've known you for many years, but you are in a Twin Flame relationship. Three of Coins, your person wants to work with you to solve the issues at hand in this relationship. And why is the six of coins here? Nobody's giving. Nobody's giving in. It's sort of stagnant. It feels like a punch into the in the head. If you look at when I say a punch in the head, uh, this looks like a cartoon character. You know how if you if in the cartoons the little cartoon will punch the other one in the head and then they go cuckoo cuckoo and they see stars swirling around their head. That's basically what I see here. Is that both of you are feeling a little bit dizzy and you're trying to see things from the other person other person's perspective the eight of swords card or that excuse me that is a movement of swords that is a knight of swords so there are well wishes that are given right now the three of cups is a desire to stay friends to stay acquaintances the eight you know that movement of swords though i, I call it the runs with scissors card um the Knight of Swords is Gemini energy, and it's somebody who usually says something shocking. The Chariot card. So what I see that they're going to say that's shocking to you is that, you know, they'll always love you as a friend, but since they can't have this relationship with you, since the Four of Wands is not available, this 11-11 uh, relationship, they're going to love you as a friend forever. They're always going to welcome you into their life if you have a breakthrough or something changes but your person is definitely looking for a Unknown victory color. your person is six of wands definitely looking for victory here so we see you in this energy of trying to sort of pull out of a situation that seems like right now it's gridlocked you're in total gridlock so i'm going to leave it there for you we're going to take a look though very quickly here at what your ancients uh the ancients and ancestors that you have are out there protecting you looking over you they have your back 
What are the messages from the your ancestors at this time? Capricorn. Unleash the wild within. Ooh. That sort of is your ancestors <laughs> giving you some advice that you should heed your emotions and your inner true self. Be fearless and stand strong. So your ancestors are, you know, in really encouraging you to be true to yourself. Hold space. So hold space for this person. Let them know how much you care. Let them know how you really feel. Unleash your emotions. Let them know, you know, don't don't leave them in a space of wondering if this was all their imagination. So it's tough, tough to do sometimes, but sending you love from Chicago. Send some back and tell me where you're from. Bye-bye.